it. So I want to show an example of a bunch of what it looks like when people are normally communicating with each other without utilizing SE as an approach to get there. I'd be a lot freer if people like you were put in prison as retaliation for the collective crime of racism, anti-Semitism, misogyny, and homophobia. God blesses me. You're judgmental. How do you deal people with sin like in your life? perpetrate this mm -hmm. every day by telling people what their rights are mm -hmm. and what they aren't. Because people like world. you that ruin this world. You're judgmental. Christians are responsible for slavery. Do you know why you're getting upset about it? I'm getting upset because, because you are stepping on the rights the, of thousands no, of this Americans. this is a freedom to me. You're judgmental. You are lost in a fantasy, yes. okay? You should preach the word. Preach what? I'm, that gay people can't sir, love you can't like spit on. you can't spit on you me, sir. Well, I know this. I could look at that sun, I could look at the sky, I could see the trees, and I know there is life. So if there is life, there has to be a creator of life. No, yes. there doesn't. That's a All you have to do is provide evidence. Can you provide evidence? I'm about to. Okay, provide evidence. Okay. Evidence. The Bible's got evidence. The Bible's the book of that, Who calls God? Yeah, listen, that's listen, the key point. I can listen, trap well, you. I know, right, I know I can what trap you're you saying. every time. But the of law, course you know what I'm saying. But and your arrogance law. as a Christian, yeah, you know that. How old are you? If you? You don't have to believe it if you don't know it. If you don't know it, then think about it. Do you think God gave you a brain? Again, how do you deal with the, you breaking the law of God? How do you deal with that? How do you deal with... With, with, with this delusion of yours, that uh, there's some invisible man in the sky sitting well, on a cloud not just that. down bolts So you don't lightning. believe that Jesus walked the earth? No! The Christians are responsible for slavery! You just Absolutely. You to mock. Okay. Yes, that's exactly what I mean. Mock your religion into extinction. That's exactly wow. where it should be. There's no way you're going to be able to do that. It's already God, happening. God is more powerful. It's already happening. So you have it's not a fairy tale. It's because a fairy tale. You know, I'm a born again Christian. Oh, born again. Baptized in uh, Jesus' name. You? Filled with the Holy Jesus Ghost. Who? It's God who works Jesus in me. Who? It's a false Lord. It's not true. Give me a hearing. It is Give wrong. Give me. Didn't your parents teach you men? Is he right next to you? Or are you holding his hand? I, yes, I am. Oh, hand. you need some medication, my oh, friend. Hitler. Who designed God? You're caught in a trap now. It's a logical trap where you listen. I'm the ignorant one. I use reason and logic. The Bible is no more proof than God exists, than a comic book is no more proof than Superman exists. You are sick. You are a sick person. Thank you very much. You're welcome. You're judgmental. It's not going to be a two-way conversation. There's no point. Bye. Bye. Atheism forever. What is interesting here, actually, is that we've got people from different faiths and, and, the, and who all believe in some kind of heaven in different sense. Um, but every single one of them believes in this heaven on the basis of faith. And faith, by definition, is believing in things without evidence and uh, personally I don't do that because I'm not an idiot. Oh, whoa, ouch. I'm so glad you guys laughed at that. <laughs> it was like uh, a lot of moments where I noticed like oh man that was just me I don't know three years ago like you're caught on the trap you didn't realize that did you I caught you I used reason and logic and now your trap never works so right how's the audio in the back can you guys hear pretty well yeah for real? Okay, great. Okay, cool. So those were examples of what conversations look like when you normally don't use SE. Hold up. All right. Those are conversations where when you don't use SE, uh, they tend to like devolve into like really accusational terms, uh, people not really being open-minded about changing their mind. I want to show you an example of what it actually looks like when SE is employed. Yeah, so yeah, just have this hobby where I chat with people about anything. Uh, is there a particular belief you want to chat about? Is there what? A particular belief that you want to chat about. Um, something you really think is true. Christianity. Yeah. All right, anyway. Yeah. No uh, Ty is my name. I've got a five minute timer. Okay. Belief any two people can talk about anything. Is there anything that strongly motivates you? Anything um, that you think God. is true? God? Yeah. That's a heavy topic. You want to talk about that for five minutes? Sure. Yeah? Uh, yeah, I can talk about. I mean, I was. My background is Christianity. Mm -hmm. um, I was raised Southern Baptist. I believe in God, so I, I, that would be the thing I'm, I'm the most certain about. Okay. First, got to get a sense of your confidence that okay. God exists. Okay. Say on a scale from one to ten. Uh, ten. Ten for sure. Ten. The existence I, of God. I mean, I am 100% yeah. certain that higher power exists. Okay. Um, 95. 95. Mm -hmm. All right. Very confident. From like zero to 100%. 
100%. 100%. You don't need any more evidence. You're absolutely closed on the position. You think that's absolutely true? Yep. Okay. 100%. What got you to that 100%? Uh, really, well, uh... So, I go to a Christian school, and I've learned... I've taken a bunch of classes on um, theories and all these different things, and it just makes sense to me. It kind of, like, hits home. I... And for me, it's just a meditation thing. That okay. I realize that it's just... It's just a, a, f a full-on total goodness of the earth, mm -hmm. all the plant. Um, I believe that there is something that has been working on my behalf in this universe. Whatever is here had to come from somewhere. Okay. Uh, it's hard uh, to imagine coming right here. from somewhere without some sort of first cause. Okay. okay. Yeah, I know it's hard to think that. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Um, how does something making sense to you relate to the actual truth of it? So, like, could someone actually be mistaken about a belief that makes sense to them? Yeah, I think they could. Okay. That is a uh, very good point. I would say... Hmm. So you... Oh, that's, a, that's an interesting perspective. So you believe that... Wow, I've never ever heard that before. Well, th that's an interesting... You, you know, we've come around to an interesting point that oh. I never verbalized to myself before, but I do see that, you know, I'm starting to see just from this discussion. And the benefits right, I get from it. Right, right, right. Yeah. That's good. Yeah. That's a good I would like perspective. To, I would like to believe it if it's true. Right, but, but yeah. because nobody can question it, nobody can prove yeah. it. You can't prove faith. You can't prove any of these things. It's like... Why am I believing this? Hmm. You may be onto something, man. Yeah, so. That's just, powerful yeah. stuff, man. Thanks, yeah, it's just stuff to think about, maybe. Yeah, absolutely. Thank you for that. That's really enlightening. I, did, I never thought about it like that. That's true. Right. That's a good way to look at it. I like to think about it that way. And that, anything, that puts you in a more reasonable position. Hmm. Well, thanks. Yeah? All right. Cool. Have a good evening. It was you good too. chatting with you. Good chatting with oh. you as well. All right. Have a good evening. <laughs> Have a good one. Isn't there a huge difference there? You guys no see that? No one left angry. No one left angry. And people were open-minded. People were willing to change their perspective a little bit. Let's talk about how that works. <laughs>